Difficult situation involving the death of a baby and uncertainty about just what happened. The sudden appearance of a woman at this hospital about 30 miles from Falmouth is now a key part of an investigation into the death of a child. One of my officers got a call from uh, the nursing staff at Harrison Memorial Hospital in Cynthiana. They had a young lady come in, reported a miscarriage, and through talking with the lady and treating her, they became concerned that there may be a viable birth that might be in distress. Falmouth Police Chief Marty Hart says those concerns quickly led an officer to this house on Montjoy Street that's currently vacant. But the officer made entry. They located a full-term baby boy. I think the ER doctor estimated the weight was a little more than six pounds. The child was unresponsive and was not breathing. The baby was pronounced dead at Harrison Memorial Hospital. The big question is whether it was a stillbirth. Right now, we have no reason to suspect any, th any type of foul play. While that's subject to change, Hart says for now, this is a case involving multiple experts who are focused on several possible outcomes. We're trying to, to cover all the, the parameters on this. And so we're, I guess we're thinking about all the different aspects from criminal to mental health to, you know, accidental. Now, Chief Hart says he hopes to have test results and the autopsy report from Kentucky's medical examiner's office in a couple of weeks' time. Once he has that information, he and his detectives will decide what happens next with this investigation. Reporting live tonight in Falmouth, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, by chance, have you been able to find out any more information about the woman whose appearance at the hospital last week has also led to so many questions? Well, Sheree, I asked Chief Hart about that. He said he did have a chance to uh, speak with that woman who was being treated by the hospital staff. He said that woman was in stable condition when the two spoke. So as more information about this situation becomes available, available we'll be sure to pass it along. Sheree. Todd Dykes live for us tonight. Todd, thanks for that update. Also tonight, the